Look at Graf, not many subscribed. Also, I'm doing a 10,000 subscriber giveaway over at my Discord server, so go and check that out, link in the description. So, Happis is gone. With the new HDRP update, Facepunch announced that Happis will be taken out of the game for now. So, just in case it's a while before we see Happis again, I wanted to get one last run in before the update. One week in the life of a solo player. Of course we start at night time. Well, so in a week Happis will no longer be with us. And probably when this video is out, Happis will be gone. For now at least. So I thought since this is my favorite map, why not do a solo run on there to remember it by. So the server actually wiped like two days ago. So hopefully people have gotten some guns, some good starts, and we can snowball. And I know exactly where we are going to live. Where I used to live in the beginning of my channel every single time. Right here. Worth it. <laughs> I found a pretty flat spot where I put down the base. I heard some shots close by, so I ran over to check them out. Sake. Those guys are already my first target. They're just up on the roof, roof camping, or standing by their turret and shooting at people. Maybe start to get raided. So annoying.
our first gun. And just a couple of minutes later, I started hearing a raid in the distance. Oh my god. 19 satchels. Okay, it's time to upgrade our base. After this, I spent the next hour or so doing some farming to upgrade the base. That's such a good start. We can do a pretty fucking big raid with that. This could be a good raid target, actually. This could be loaded. I decided to flame raid a decent sized base next to mine. I bought a jackhammer at outpost to finish the raid. I quickly geared up and ran back.
Oh my god! Fuck off. So bad. At this point, all I had was one gun left. So if I die, that means we are back on zero. Oh, fuck that. You get closer. Yes. Ah. Oh, that was fucking dead. I was shocked. Ah, oh, of course. And they definitely have a timer on it, so I don't know exactly what I'm, what I'm going to do now. Come on! Come on! Get the fuck. Oh. After securing the raid, I transferred all the loot to my base. I stumped my last gun. Now we have a bunch of guns. Oh my god! I started researching a few items. 
and was just about to go and recycle all the components from the raid when what the fuck No, no, no. The Buddha, Buddha, no. I should have died. No, I don't have a bag again. Why did I not put the bag inside? No! Fucking tabbed out! No way! I died because I tabbed out. I did deep pull the sergeants now. Fuck. Oh! Fuck off. Oh my god. No, we just fucking got the cold look. <laughs> fuck you noob, fuck you noob, fuck you noob, fuck you, fuck you noob, fuck you noob. Fuck you noob, fuck you noob. Fuck! So I just lost everything. But whatever, I had only been on the server for a couple of hours, and most of the stuff in my base was things I had taken from these guys. But still, I logged off, because I did not feel like playing after this. But there was no way I was gonna end my last run on Happis like this. 
The next day I was back on and ready for whatever Rust decided to throw at me. Now you've already seen one start in this video, so let's speed through this one. I put down a base next to military tunnels. It's a bit broken on that base, and so I was gonna abuse it. I'm just gonna abuse uh, military tunnels right now. Like military tunnels in <laughs> in here is so stupid. There's barely any scientists. The only scientists are right here at the end. This large furnace is gonna be fucking big. I crafted some pistol bullets for the MP5 and took it out to try and get some more guns. Oh my god, you gotta be fucking kidding me. And this sums up my luck for the first few hours on the server. You fucking... Why do you have a four times on the AK, you're fucking bot? Oh my god. Where the fuck? Where did it go? You're so fucking bad, bro. Does he have fucking speed attacks? He just disappeared. Like I was on him and then poof, he was gone. What the fuck? But there was this shop that was selling basically everything for tarp. So I decided to buy a python and a flashlight here. Hopefully this python would help me turn this wipe around.
Oh, finally. <laughs> finally, after so much struggling today. Like, this has been a shit day of rust, so... Finally, it looks like it's starting to turn around. But <laughs> I don't want to jinx it, though. I then went out to try and get a red card. Our wife had officially turned around. Oh, let's get some stuff researched. So if we get raided, because I have a feeling those guys who, are, who I just killed might, just might be a bit mad. They might raid me, so I want to research as much stuff as possible before that. I also took oil rig. Please have a boat. I need one boat, please. Yes. All right. AK double C four. Oh. Hmm. This could be a pretty good raid. So worth I was roaming around the area looking for a place for my main base when I came across this base and I knew I had to fuck with them.
Fuck you, laser man. Good luck. Have fun, bro. Have fun. After securing the base, I moved all the loot over to my base. I then found a flat spot where I put down my main base. By the way, if you want to know the base design, I don't even know. It's like a copy of uh, Alone in Tokyo's base with my own spin on it. I then moved all the loot over from my starter base to the main base. But as I was moving all of the loot, a Shinook crate dropped at military tunnels. I had a few bases around mine that were blocking me from expanding, so I raided them. Then I went on a small farming trip. Just a small farming trip. With this I finished up most of the base. Then Heli was out and a group close by took it down. So I went over to see what I could do.
Yeah, there's no way. Not much I could do about these guys right now. But who knows, maybe in the future. God. After winning a few fights and obtaining some gear sets, I upgraded the base and logged off. The next day the first thing I did was I went on a recycle run. Bro, that's fucking perfect. <laughs> I also used the tarp shop again where I bought a rocket.
No. Fuck. Or may way more than I thought. Oh my god, what the... I heard some AKs in the distance, and I went to check it out. Are you fucking joking? How do you see me? Oh, he lives right there. Bro, that's the easiest raid ever. He lives in a fucking stone base. He's fucking hacking. He's a hundred percent hacking. He has pre fired so hard. Sick, okay. He's a fucking filthy hacker. Come on, kill me. I was pretty sure this guy was hacking. So I reported him and then I prepared to raid him. a third door. I'm so happy he's not online. But with my luck, he's probably gonna fucking come online in the last last second. Now luckily for me, the cheater had actually been banned before the raid and I didn't have the chat on so I missed it. Oh. oh, it was all worth it. Okay, let's look at the loot. Nice. That's mine. Three AKs, fuck yes. Four AKs. Oh my god, that's so good. <sighs> I went out to clear all the grubs.
I'm fucking back to base, boys. Fucking big. So big. My raid have brought quite a lot of PvP, so I went out to clear them before transferring the rest of the loot. Fucking hitboxes. the guns After transferring all the loot, I wanted to do some more upgrades to the base, but someone wouldn't let me. Hey, fuck off. I hate that with train. That should be a headshot, but it's not because this game is stupid. Bro, can you... I'm just trying to build my fucking... I managed to see what base they ran into though. It was my neighbors that I met at the beginning of this run. Those guys are already my first target. They're just up on the roof roof camping or standing by their turret and shooting at people. So yeah, they were definitely a raid target at this point. But I would need to get my hands on explosive before that. So for now I finished some upgrades to the base and then I noticed that I had a lot of low raid. So I decided to do some flame raids. Here's Johnny! Madame, Madame. No, pardon, no, 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 no,
I came across this decayed base. What the? What the? Oh my god. Grab the C4 for explosives. So after that, we can start doing rocket raids, and then we can start doing online raids and all bunch of stuff. After this, I really wanted to raid these guys, so I went out farming. It's like a village out there. I wanna, I wanna raid one of these bases. I feel like I kind of have to. Maybe that one doesn't look that expensive. It's right there for rockets, and then you just go down. Shouldn't be too hard. On my way home from the farm run, I started hearing my auto turret going off. It was my neighbors just being dicks trying to fuck with me. And it's just so pointless. Like they clearly have guns, so why waste your time breaking my turret?
I started smelting the sulfur and clearly my turrets wasn't protecting very good so I went on my roof to make sure no one tried anything. Are they really trying to shoot out my... I have... Watch how this is done. Oh yeah, good luck. <laughs> Wait, that's new. That tower. I don't think that's a good good thing, because I'm pretty sure that's the, their tower. Ow. I knew that was their base. I had shot him, right? I don't think those guys, honestly, I don't think those guys deserve an honor raid. And also, they're way too many for non for me to even consider an online raid right now like there are just too many of them like i'm not sure how many of them are online right now but uh, in their group they're like five six and they have t they have turrets so it's going to be a no from me I recycled the C4 for the explosive. Oh my god, what the fuck were they doing? Why did they have so much scrap on them? Oh, I have so much scrap now. <laughs> With all my scrap, I've researched the explosive. I crafted all of my sulfur into rockets and went over to raid them. Hopefully 12 rockets will be enough. I'm really not sure though.
I didn't get much back from this raid in terms of explosives. But I'd say it was a pretty good raid overall. And also, I was just happy to get rid of these guys. I bought a minicopter at Outpost and used it to do oil rig. I thought it was dead. Double C4. Fuck. I did some upgrades to the base, and then I logged off. The next morning I woke up and saw that someone was doing oil rig. Who am I hearing? Someone's fucking jumping. Oh my god! Fucking knew I heard someone. Fucking prick. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. I wanted to do another raid today, so actually I just spent most of the day farming. I heard some rockets coming from the big village, so I went to check it out.
From this I got a HV rocket, which I researched and then took Bradley with. I hoped I would get some explosives from this, but all I really got was an L9 and a hundred armor doors. But who to raid? First I was thinking about raiding the people that raided me in the beginning, but I hadn't actually seen them on since, so I thought it would be a waste of time. Instead I went over to the big village and looked for a raid. I found a juicy looking base and went inside to take a look. I don't know why this just feels super expensive to raid. They had left a bunch of doors open. Oh no, we're raiding this. Like, we're already getting down pretty far. Without really doing anything. Yeah, we're raiding this easily. So, I grabbed all of the rockets and ran over to raid them. Like, it doesn't seem like these guys are online, but from what I've seen while playing, they always have at least one guy online. Because the first day I was playing until 4 in the morning. And at 4 in the morning they still had like 5 people on. Because that's when they took Kelly. And I tried to counter and got shot at by so many different people. So I do believe like right when I began to raid. They're, they're gonna be all over me. Very nice. Ah, I just wasted that. Why do I always do that? Every time I waste a C4. I mean, it wasn't my C4, so I don't 
Some really give a fuck. This was much cheaper than I first thought. Where would? Wood. Yes, we do. After securing the base, I just wasted the rest of the rockets. Might as well use all, the, all our rockets. Yeah, this is just front door. That's what I thought. But I did that, so... Because now... It's my base. What do we even want? I don't really want anything. I just don't really care for anything. Let's just give this <laughs> this space away. Yo. Yo, man. Hello. Nice, no, man. It's all yours. Oh, oh man, thank you very much. No problem. I'm Here, come. Started. Come, come, come. Get TC, get TC. Get TC? Yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. Thank you very much. Nice no problem, place. dude. Okay, dude. See ya. I also gave my main base away. Yo. Oh my god, thank you for the space, bro. Damn, no oh my god, thank you so much. There's no traps. Oh my god, thank you so much. I'm down here and get TC. Oh my, my god, you're like the best guy ever man oh my god thank you so much oh i'm just gonna god. i'm just gonna turn off the turrets to one second bro this is a huge ass base yeah all right dude have fun all right thank you man oh my god oh, bro thank you so much yeah no problem see ya dude have fun well It's been a pretty, pretty decent run, I have to say. This is... Goodbye. Tap it for now. Why don't you dare? I'm trying to do an outro. I don't think they like me very much. A rocky start with getting raided. I will bounce back and... And I think it was a good last run on Happis, for now at least. I can't wait for it to come back. Me and the server have had a lot of fun. So it's gonna be sad to see it go. But hopefully it comes back even better than before and we can have more runs like this. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. They take a long time to make, so if you want to support me a little extra, you can do that over at my Patreon. And just so you know, I have a Twitter account where I post memes, video teasers, and much more. But I will see you guys in the next video. Peace, and goodbye.